<clears throat> have you guys ever just sat, maybe was driving, or was just hanging out, or right now listening to a presentation, but really you're thinking about a great experience from the past? Well, a quote from Marcus Valerius Marshall, he states, to be able to look back upon one's past life with satisfaction is to live twice. So what I get from this quote is that um, when you have one, like, when you experience a great memory or a great accomplishment when, and are able to, you know, when you're thinking about it or just trying to remember the past, <clears throat> and you can, and it's, it was a great, like, you know, memory. Um, so an experience for me, right now I'm young, so I really don't, like, I can't think of many satis like, sat satisfactional memories besides um, a time when I went with my family to uh, Lake Paris and we all went camping for the weekend and we were young and it was like a great time to experience with everybody and now when I now I think about it I was like when I think about it it gives me great satisfaction because now that everybody's older um, it's hard to get everybody together and do things like we used to do in the past so that's one great like like time where I can live twice. And then another is my high school graduation. You know, when you graduate high school, it takes, what, 12 years, basically from elementary school, preschool, junior high, and high school, until you get out to either college or experience or, or to follow a life goal. And just knowing everything I went through throughout all those years and being able to accomplish and graduate in high school also, it was like a satisfaction for me to live that past twice. So, yeah, thank you. Well, I like the uh, idea of looking at the past and thinking about living twice, and, you're, and I, I like the interpretation that you have of the quote and uh, the way you kind of set it up. I thought that was fine. Um, there's a, a, a couple of good examples that you have. Uh, I think you could probably add a little bit more detail to them to make them interesting, So, but you had the right idea about what you were doing there, um, and so all the structural stuff is, is perfectly uh, acceptable. It needs, like I said, a little bit of content development, but that's something that'll happen when you can you know, work on telling the story a little bit better. Um, the presentation issues, your voice projects well. I think you pace it pretty well, at least up to the end. Your facial expressions are a little bit uh, muted, but you do seem uh, fairly relaxed during the presentation. A couple of things that are awkward. Um, your body movement, you are rocking back and forth on your feet. You've also stood as far back as you can possibly get, you know. Step forward a little bit. We're, we're not going to bite, you know. It's like, uh, can I step further back? That's a little bit of a problem. And you've got your hands locked behind your back the whole time. You don't really offer any gestures. It's kind of like you, you look a little bit like a kid reciting a poem in front of his class in the third grade, you know. You got your hands behind your back and you're rocking back and forth and you step as far back as you can get, you, you don't look as comfortable as you need to. Uh, and you know, So drop your hands to your sides, gesture occasionally, step up a little bit, be a little bit more confident, and you'll be fine. You've got the right idea on the content, you're doing okay, and, you, and your vocals are, are fine, but like the other nonverbal things, the visual stuff, that's kind of, you need work on those things. All right, thank you.